Get your hair done? Yeah. <laughs> So today I learned what anaplasmosis is, um, which is something that attacks um, the red blood cells of, of, of what I understand any livestock animal, and it comes from horseflies. Well, we got the cow back, and we got the two bulls back, and um, we got we got in what we needed to get in. Um, it's uh, I just felt like you know she she started looking pretty rough, and um, I just felt like I needed to take her. Let me tell you a little bit about what I learned today. So what I did learn is there is a horse fly that carries um, something uh, that gets into the, an animal system, can be livestock, could be deer in that case is my understanding, and uh, a horse fly bites them, ingests them, you know, whatever they're carrying, it gets in a bison system in this case, and um, it kills the red blood cells, it attacks the red blood cells, and so uh, the vaccinations that Dakota got today um, our cow was a bunch of antibiotics. Um, Doc Parsons put a bunch of antibiotics in her and um, we went ahead and wormed her, got her taken care of, and we're gonna keep feeding her, uh, mixing in some of that antibiotics into her feed. And he said we should see some changes in her gaining some weight back in about two to three weeks. Um, so she's gonna be singled out here with the two calves for a little bit. Um, because we're trying to start the weaning process with them as well. Obviously, it won't work with her baby because he's still in here with her, but that's okay. Um, you know, she should get better hopefully in about a month, and then we'll be able to, we'll be able to uh, send her back out with the herd. You can tell the herd is, is staying really close, and, you know, this is a tight-knit family, and, and they want to be around each other, so they're staying really close. But... Um, you know, some, some learning today, uh, which is good, you know, this is part of the process is, is learning about these animals and learning, um, you know, you just can't just let these animals go and people don't understand that. You think just, you just let these bison go and, and, and they'll take care of themselves. Well, they do take care of themselves, but you know, like I've told you several times, we're not on thousands of acres and even on the big ranches and the big private places that have bison they still gotta they still have to work them they still have to vaccinate them they vaccinate them once or twice a year so that these animals can thrive and um you know there is some you have to have some hum human intervention with these animals and we're trying to grow the population and obviously i want to have a healthy herd so that we can grow as well and so there's things like this that you have to do and today um i didn't want to risk it anymore and so we took dakota up there to get her taken care of and we got the process going with those two calves, uh, getting their first set of worming and, and antibiotics um, so that uh, they're healthy. And that's what we want. And we want our herd to grow.